and gentlemen, we are honored to have with us today an eminent personality in the culinary world, Chef Vijaya Bhaskaran. Chef Bhaskaran has extensive experience as an executive chef in leading hotel companies, including Ashok Group of Hotels, Taj Group of Hotels, Starwood Hotels, and Marriott Hotels. He's been involved in catering for prestigious events such as the Asian Games, the Non-Aligned Summit for Heads of Government, Commonwealth Heads of State, Aero Shows, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It's my pleasure to invite Chef Vijay Bhaskaran to be our guest of honor during the inaugural of Akasi, India's first Farm to Table Institute. And we look forward to hearing Chef Bhaskaran's insights and vision for Akasi as well as his thoughts on the farm-to-table movement in India. Let's welcome our guest. Thank you, uh, Dr. George George, the inspiring story there. Uh, Dr. Stephen George there. Again, we met in uh, Delhi during the conference. Levi Polo's there, I see him somewhere there. And then, of course, Matthew Stevenson. Uh, all my fellow chef colleagues from here and fellow academician there. Uh, it's lovely to be back among young people. Uh, it's really lovely to see all those youngsters. Uh, when we were young, we never had this opportunity. So you are all lucky. That way I can say that you get to meet all the chefs. So after that, you can come and interact with the chefs and try to understand their insights. You know, Chef Koshik was asking for questions. They will ask you after them, after we are off the stage. So quickly, I think uh, the vision this institution has, Akasi has, uh, can be fathomed from uh, the way the institution came and partnered in our International Chefs Conference in February. I think even before the institute was inaugurated, the team was there interacting with all the chef community in our event and trying to understand what the industry wants, how industry is serious about what, I really admire that you came forward and participated in the event. Thank you so much for coming forward. Mutually beneficial. And then uh, actually they could come and see what actually the chefs are doing. I work for a company which uh, deals with the farmers. I used to always work in the hotels. Uh, now I'm working in a company which uh, deals with farmers all across the world. How So I can relate to what is being said there, what is being done here. But then you have to be on the field to understand what. Previously, the youngsters or anybody who is going to a supermarket buying, they're going to see the label. The world has moved forward. They don't see at the label, they see behind the label nowadays. So the study has proven that people are looking at what is inside it, uh, not what is attractively packaged there. So the world has moved on quite a bit. And then I also knew chef friends of mine. One of them used to work in London, used to proudly say that I flew into Holland or I flew into Paris to pick up this ingredient. So he was actually flying from London for his restaurant to pick up things from all over Europe or everywhere. Uh, that was fashionable those days, but not anymore. You cook and you do the things that that's more fashionable now. I think the world has become more wise now. I think, of course, we learned uh, being wise from doing a lot of mistakes, but that's what happens. But now it's become wise. And then there's actually a, this wisdom seen here that somebody has come and opening a culinary institute along with agriculture. I really commend on the real good thought, I think this shows that the world is going in the right direction. Of course, a small step, but I think it will be a giant leap in one day. So I also want to quickly touch uh, a little bit about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, I always worked in the hotel industry, but I always I felt that I'm an entrepreneur in my department. I am accountable for whatever I do. You may be doing a small job when you begin with, but take the ownership of that place. When you are really passionate about what you do, when you're really passionate what things happen around you, you really can take ownership and eventually, even when you invest your money or invest your talent or invest your uh, effort, you will be a really successful entrepreneur. So the key is being passionate about what you do is what I believe. You may be working for somebody, somebody might have put your money, but believe it, you are putting your effort there. You are investing your skill there. You are investing your knowledge there. So you have to own it because it's yours. So that's being the entrepreneur there. Uh, I have nothing else to, more to say. I really congratulate the team around here. We look forward to successful association in the future. 
please let us know any support we require from indian federation of culinary associations we are there to support you look at our website learn about our indian federation of culinary associations how we do a lot of social activities all the chefs here always come and contribute here we would like to come and associate with educational institutions like our us and take it forward thank you so much wish you all the best